Hello learners, I am Chanika Roy from the discipline of English, Padmanad Gohai Borua School of Humanities, KK Handik State Open University. This is the second part of the video lecture on Unit 5 of General English, Degree First Semester. In the first part of the video, we have already been familiarized with the poet William Butler Yeats and his works. And we also briefly discussed the context of the poem an Irish airman foresees his death. This video aims to explain the poem An Irish airman foresees his death and discuss the style of the poem. Let us first look at the poem in a detailed way. I know that I shall meet my fate somewhere among the clouds above. Those that I fight I do not hate. Those that I guard I do not love. The poem captures the mind of an airman confronting death. You are already aware that the poem is about an Irish pilot fighting in the war and anticipating his imminent death. What is striking in these lines is the point that the speaker does not care about either his enemies or his friends. And this leads the readers to question the speaker's motivation in the war. Why is it so that the speaker is not motivated by feelings of patriotism? My country is Kiltarden Cross. My countrymen, Kiltarden's poor, no likely end could bring them loss or leave them happier than before. These lines reflect as to why the speaker is feeling so indifferent. Being an Irishman, the speaker did not have any deep love for England. His country is Kiltarden Cross. His countrymen, Kiltarden's poor. Kiltarden is situated on the western coast of Ireland. It is evident that his own country pervades with poverty. As such, whatever be the outcome in the war, it will make their lives no worse or better than before. The airman lists every factor weighing upon his situation and his vision of death. He rejects every possible factor he believes to be false. He does not hate or love his enemies or his allies. His country will neither be benefited nor hurt by any outcome of the war. Nor law nor duty bade me fight. Nor public man nor cheering crowds. A lonely impulse of delight drove to this tumult in the clouds. The speaker further clarifies that he does not fight for political or moral motives but because of his impulse of delight. He explicitly states that it was not under any obligation for the country nor the inspiring speeches of the leaders or the cheering of the crowds that provoked him to fight in the battlefield. It was simply the thrill of the battlefield or adventure that pushed him to take up the job of an airman. I balanced all, brought all to mind. The years to come seemed waste of breath, a waste of breath the years behind, in balance with this life, this death. So his past seems a waste. While his future life promises to be the same and his death will balance out his life. He feels that only death in war can balance his life of dullness. It was the life of adventure that prompted the Irish airmen to fight. He was totally disgusted with the monotony of daily life and he sought the thrill of the air force. He is prepared to die after reflecting on his life. He realizes that it has been a waste of time. This is reflected in the line, a waste of breath the years behind, in balance with this life, this death. Hence, this poem reflects Yitz's critical perspective on war and its outcome. And through the airmen, Yitz imagines the poignant circumstances that warfare leads to. Particularly in this poem, it is evident that death is inevitable in wars and the speaker on the verge of his death recounts his feelings and reflects on his life. With regard to the language of the poem, it may be noted 
that Itza's poetry is plain and has the simplicity of everyday speech. The expressions of the poet are brief and sharp. The language of the poem is also very suggestive. The poem is written in first person which makes it an interesting read. Moreover, the poem is written in a colloquial, pointed, epigrammatic and conversational style. This sharp 16 line poem has a very simple structure. Lines are metered in iambic tetrameter and four grouped quatrains of alternating rhymes A B A B C D C D E F E F G H G H Words are chosen carefully to fit the rhyme scheme and to make it more interesting to the reader. The poet employs some poetic techniques such as metaphor, irony, etc. In this poem, he uses metaphor to make contrasts and comparisons. Metaphor is a figure of speech in which an expression is used to refer to something that it does not literally denote in order to suggest a similarity. The metaphor drove to this tumult in the clouds explains that the speaker has reached the zenith of his flight as well as the zenith of his life. From here he will encounter his death. Another example of a metaphor presented in this poem is a waste of breath the years behind. This is a metaphor which compares the years that have passed and how they were a waste of time. Besides this, irony is also used in the poem. Irony is the use of words that say the opposite of what it really means. An example of irony found in the poem is when he says, he does not love or want to protect the people of his country. Yet when people go to war, they usually fight for the honor of their country. The title of the poem, An Irish Airman Foresees His Death, which is very suggestive, reflects the fact that the airman foresaw his impending death. This is significant because it reflects the fate of many people fighting on the war front, anticipating their Deaths. The speaker recounted the thoughts that are going through his mind as his death approaches. This choice of voice, that is active voice, is important because it gives an insight into the thoughts of the airmen fighting on the verge of death. It is the poet who is imagining these thoughts. I hope this video will help you to understand the poem and also generate interest regarding the poet William Butler Yeats. Thank you.